Hi guys, it's Kylie the Jellyfish. Today I'm going to be talking really quick about how to remove hair dye from VP Fashion Mixed Dyeable Hair Extensions. Mixed Dyeable Hair Extensions are VP Fashion's new, exclusively developed by VP Fashion hair extensions that are not synthetic and not full human hair. It is 50% human hair and 50% biological molecule hair. So it actually takes hair dye instead of synthetic hair can't be dyed and human hair is just extremely expensive. The cool thing about it is it's half the price of human hair, but it does the same thing. I've dyed it twice already and I've washed it maybe five or six times and it feels just good as new. It feels like I got it yesterday. It feels really, really healthy. This hair does not shed. I'm so surprised at the quality of this. It's amazing. I actually have a discount code for VP Fashion Hair Extensions if you want to buy some. Um, my discount code is Jellyfish for $10 off, I believe. So first of all, what I did to get as much color out of it as I can is I started off with this color right here. Okay, so um, this is the video. I had I, I had dyed it from this like white blonde color. This was the color it came as. It's like a DIY blonde. And then I dyed it galaxy color, so it was like brown roots, which is like my normal roots, and then um, blue, and then fading into purple, and then fading into like an ombre to like a white at the bottom. And um, it was like galaxy hair, and if you want to see that full video, you can click the card up here. I had that hair for like maybe a month. I want to get rid of it because like my natural hair had faded out of that color and I wanted to dye it again but then I was like no because seasons are changing and I feel like I need to do like the green that I was planning all year long for Christmas. Just to be safe I emailed the girl that had been contacting me for um, VP Fashion and my um, promotion with them. How do you recommend me remove color out of these hair extensions because this is not human hair and it's not synthetic hair this is something n new this is something different and I don't know if anyone's ever done anything to try to get the color out and what's the most efficient way she told me definitely don't bleach it because one girl bleached it and it ruined the hair completely just bleaching extensions in general is just not good I don't recommend it for anybody before that I um, bought head and shoulders shampoo like, it's clarifying shampoo that just gets everything out. Like, it strips hair color so quickly. So, um, if you're trying to get rid of hair color, I recommend Head & Shoulders. So, I washed the hair with clarifying shampoos that would get all of the color out as much as I could. I washed it about five times, and I made sure to use really hot water because hot water opens up cuticles and lets everything drain out. So, that's what you want to do. And if you're trying to seal color, by the way, use really cold water. That's why... After I dye my hair, I always wash it out with cold water because it seals everything and keeps the color in for longer. It started out like a really nice dark purple and then it kind of faded over time to like a lighter purple but it still wasn't where I wanted it to be because what if you wanted to go from purple to like straight up blonde again and I didn't know if like you could do that or not. I looked up a ton of ways that people uh, get color out of hair extensions usually and with human hair a lot of people do this technique where they get a pot of water, like a, a pot of water, and put it on the stove, put dish soap in it, and then they boil the water with the dish soap in it. They dip the hair extensions into the water, and it basically removes all the color. And you're supposed to, you know, take it out, let it cool off a little bit on a towel, put it back in, and you're supposed to not walk away. You have to stir it the whole time, so if any parts get stuck at the bottom, they don't burn or melt or anything. Um, so you have to keep it moving and keep a good close eye on it because it is hair, and it can melt, it can catch on fire. I just decided to do one clip. Um, this right here is the before hair this and then this is what it looked like after I boiled it it definitely worked but I only did one round you're supposed to like do like maybe one or two or three rounds but I, I tried out the boil method with like dish soap and I realized that it's not really meant for mixed dyeable hair extensions and um, you can do it because it definitely does take out the hair color really quickly and really well like it took out all the hair color in one round but I did feel a huge difference. It was like all of the like strands that were not human hair, all the strands that were just like the mixed dyeable hair kind of curled up and like looked really rough and felt really rough and like they were so damaged. 
If you have ever fried your hair, like fried it really bad from like bleaching it, hot iron, curling, that's what it feels like. So I don't recommend it, but if you really just want it, them to be like blonde again and you don't, you, you don't know what else to do, I recommend that. There, wa there was one method I did not end up trying is because I just couldn't get my hands on any, was color oops. Color oops you can buy at like, I think Target. You can maybe buy it at like giant or something I'm not sure but I know for a fact you can buy it at Sally's Beauty Supply CVS definitely CVS I've seen it in CVS I've never tried color oops I heard it smells bad um I just could never find any whenever I would walk into the store and look for it so I ended up being like you know what someone else can try that out if you try it please let me know in the comments down below so like people know if that works as well I just um I just wanted to do this quickly because I only did it on one extension and the rest of them were just kind of purpley at the roots but pretty much for the most part like white on the ends and that was good enough for me to dye my hair dark dark green because dark dark green doesn't like require a really white base to it like if you want to do pastel pink you want to start out with white hair you know what I mean I do recommend you can do like really hot water clarifying shampoo or really hot water and crushed up vitamin C tablets you can also do hot water and dish soap because dish soap in general gets hair dye out really qu really quickly and really well if you're ever wondering how to get rid of the color that's how you do it and um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it was like informative and if it wasn't I'm really sorry if you have any questions that like weren't answered in this video and you were hoping were answered just comment down below ask me some questions I will try my best to reply please just have a beautiful wonderful happy day and I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a like I love you guys so much thank you for 16,000 subscribers Mwah. Stay epic, everyone. Bye.